So speaking of said future, if you could project yourself, you know, 15, 20 years into the future, and you could bring with you, you know, any service product gadget thing that would just make you personally happy or just make your life better, what would it be and what would it do? Um, anyway, if, in other words, if I could just create or, or buy something that would be invented in the future. And, and I, I, yeah, I mean, sir, I love travel. So my dream has always been two things from Star Trek, the transporter and the replicator. We're very, you. You, so we're very, very close to replicators, right? I mean, uh, so the 3d printing, 3d printing geeks me out so much. And I own, I own a few 3d printers. I mean, they're, they're great. I love that we can now print things, physical things. That's amazing. Um, but we're gonna, when we get to molecular 3D printing, that's when I really geek out because we can print food. I've already eaten 3D printed food. It's cool. I mean, I've already, you know, I've been down this road a little bit. You have 3D printed sushi now. I mean, there's there's some cool stuff out there on 3D printing. So I think a replicator and a transporter. But I think, it, you know, if you think about it, those two are very closely intertwined because if you can 3D print biological organisms you could technically transport a 3d print of yourself but then you have to destroy yourself to transport yourself i'm not sure how that's going to work so we're going to have to figure out something where it doesn't destroy you to transport you but i think those two things would be amazing in lieu of a transporter i think faster than light travel would be amazing 